Pope Francis kicked off the month of August with a trip that he had been looking forward to for years, World Youth Day in Lisbon, Portugal. It had been postponed from the summer of 2022 due to the coronavirus pandemic. While in Lisbon, Pope Francis met with politicians and interreligious leaders and even traveled to Fatima to pray with the sick. But the majority of his time was spent directly with the youth. He heard confessions, held personal meetings and luncheons, and delivered messages to the over one million youth gathered there. He encouraged each and every one of them to live boldly. Tengan, por tanto, la valentía de sustituir los miedos por los sueños. Sustituyan los miedos por los sueños. No sean administradores de miedos. No sean administradores de miedos, sino emprendedores de sueños. Pope Francis's four busy days in Lisbon was his first trip since his surgery in June. And on the flight back to Rome, he said he felt perfectly fine. That week, the Pope resumed his Wednesday general audiences and his official agenda after the summer break. On the solemnity of the Assumption on August 15th, the Pope entrusted his concern for the war-torn regions of the world to Mary. He prayed for peace with 10,000 pilgrims in St. Peter's Square. At the end of the month, one of his meetings was to receive a prestigious award. Pope Francis was awarded the journalism prize called E Giornalismo, which is known as the Italian Pulitzer. Dovete sapere che io, ancora prima di diventare vescovo di Roma, ero solito declinare l'offerta di premi. Ma io ho ricevuto, non volevo. E ho continuato a fare così da Papa. C'è per un motivo che mi ha spinto a accettare il vostro ed è l'urgenza di una comunicazione costruttiva che favorisca la cultura dell'incontro e non dello scontro. The representatives of the award said having a pope as the recipient was an unprecedented choice in its history, but that Pope Francis's mission for peace and truth fits perfectly into its purpose.